Buongiorno, I'm Joey, the quarantine cook. Tonight for dinner, we're having bow tie pasta with some diced tomatoes, mushrooms, feta cheese, and olives soaked in olive oil and some Italian beans. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take four cups of water and put it in your pot. Turn your burner on high, and then you're gonna take two cups of pasta, and you're gonna to toss it in, just like so. And we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Give your pasta a little bit of a stir. Spoon over here and you're gonna to toss just a dash of salt in there. Okay, we're gonna toss some butter into our Italian beans, which have been soaking in water. I've got my burner on high, and after it cooks uh, for a few minutes, we're gonna turn that down to probably a low to medium heat. We have some local dried mushrooms that were soaking in water, and we want them to plump up really nicely, and then we're gonna take those and throw it in with our pasta and our tomatoes and olive oil and feta cheese. Okay, put a dash of salt in with your beans as well. Okay, so after you've boiled your pasta for about 10 minutes, what I like to do is put the lid on, turn it on a low heat, and let it absorb some of the water and steam for a couple of minutes just to puff the pasta up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take the lid back off of my pasta for just a second because I want to test it. And now, you don't want it to be al dente, which is firm to the bite, but you don't want to be mushy either. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to take this off the burner and we're going to drain the water out of the pasta very carefully. And don't burn yourself. You can use a colander if you want to, but, you know, it's just as easy to do it this way. All right, perfect. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to take our mushrooms, which were dried mushrooms. Now they're all plumped up. We're going to throw them in with the pasta. And you want to use a spoon, you know, of course, that has holes in it. They pass the liquid. You've got to... Don't reach it all the way in the bottom of the bowl because you're going to have sand in deposits. You know, because they are mushrooms that have been growing in the dirt. So, here we go. All right, that's good. So, you're going to take your diced tomatoes next and you're going to pop those in with the pasta. I love these cans I got from Whole Foods because you can just pop the top off. You don't have to use a can opener. Super simple. Just throw that in with your bow tie. And then you're gonna take the feta and olive and olive oil mixture, which Whole Foods was nice enough to have cut up for us already. You just gotta get the lid off. Uh, and make sure you don't get olive oil everywhere because that could be dangerous. And you're just gonna dump that in there. And it's got a lot of spices in it too, so that's going to be fantastic. All right, stir the mixture in together. Wow. Well, stir your mixture in with your pasta. It already looks fantastic. All right, and you're going to let that simmer for just a few minutes, and then you'll be ready to go. Our green beans are already cooked. Last but not least, you're going to add some Italian cheese mixture to the top. And you're ready to serve. Bon appetito. I'm Joey, the quarantine cook. That was incredible. The combination of the bow tie pasta, the olives, the feta cheese, and the Italian green beans was amazing.